Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Robin with Robin Southern Nest. Today I wanted to share with you guys how I organized our kitchen um, from top to bottom. Of course I'm not going to get up into the upper cabinets because I would have to get on the ladder for that and honestly I don't have anything stored up there. Um, so I'd like to take you through our cabinets, our pantry, um, and even our refrigerator to show you all the ins and outs of our kitchen. So hope you guys enjoy. So before I get started, I just kind of want to give you an overview of our kitchen. So we have the refrigerator over there, over on the right hand side. This is where I store all of our Ray done, as well as any entertainment pieces, um, like trays, platters, things that I'm not using every day. And then we just ordered um, this uh, kitchen island from Crate and Barrel. And I have a full blog about this whole kitchen island. If you're interested, you can check out my blog. And then that little door is our pantry <clears throat> and um, it's very small but it's really all we need and I'm still working on some organization for it so I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what we have in there um, right now. So not very much, just um, the essentials, lots of baking stuff, some canned items, <laughs> uh, check cereal because it's on sale. Um, and over here is our sink area. And in the corner, we have a little TV. And then to the left of the sink, you have the um, dishwasher. And above there is where I store all of our everyday plateware. So I have all of our plates and bowls that we use on a daily basis in there. To the left of the dishwasher, I keep all of our silverware, knives, and anything I use like on a daily basis to cook. Um, and then the second drawer down is where I keep more cutting boards, any um, plasticware or aluminum foil. And in the bottom drawer I just have mixing bowls and some baking ware as well. So above the hood vent, there are two panels that actually open up for more storage. So I think I have some more copper pots up there. I can't remember for sure. But to the left, I'm going to show you, I keep more seasonings, um, any taller bottles like oils, olive oil, glazes, I keep there. And then right to the left of the range, I like to have all of my seasonings for cooking. So I put all of my spices in this drawer. So this drawer might seem a little chaotic, but it's all of my utensils and stuff that I don't use like necessarily every day. So I just store it in there. And this last drawer underneath, that one is more bakeware, strainers, the cookie sheets, and one, other, one of my small little pans. And then, like I said, we just got this kitchen island from Crate and Barrel. So this is where I store my overage of utensils, serveware, I have some of my Nora Fleming little baubles, and anything like that, more knives. In the middle drawer here, I have all of the baking necessities, so rolling pins, measuring cups, just because I like to bake right on top of the, um, the kitchen island itself. The last drawer is just my um, bread pan and some Corningware tops. And I do apologize that my mantle is kind of bare at this moment. I'm still trying to figure out artwork or a mirror for that area, so just ignore that. And then right behind the island is where the fridge is. So it also has cabinetry to the right of it. So this is where I keep all of our glassware and also any dishes that are seasonal that we don't use every day is where all of those are stored. And yes, I'm revealing my junk drawer just because I'm human and everybody has a junk drawer. Second drawer down is where all my Tupperware lives. Um, so any leftovers go in these little um, bins. I have little um, mixing bowls in this last drawer as well as more Tupperware um, and our uh, tortillo dish. So our refrigerator and freezer are both integrated so I love that feature about this kitchen. It has nice storage and it also has all the appliances are integrated um, which makes it even more timeless to me in, that, in my opinion. So here's a little peek into our fridge. We don't have very much, um, even though I just went grocery shopping, but I just kind of buy what is necessary for 
um, meals for the week. So pretty basic. Here's a look at our freezer, just some frozen veggies, frozen fruit, and some, some protein. To the left of the fridge, you have these nice pull-out drawers, and I keep a lot of our appliances in these drawers. Also, my pots and pans live in here, so they're just easy to access, and I can see everything that's on the, the shelves, so I really like this feature. And probably my number one used appliance in the kitchen, other than my mixer, is my Instant Pot. I love that thing. And then just more pots and pans and our griddle. And as I mentioned in our house tour, this chippy cabinet actually came with the sale of our home. We really wanted it to stay um, in this kitchen because it was such a an enormous piece and I just can't imagine this kitchen without it. So I thought it was the perfect place to store all of my um, redone collection. So here's just a little close up of that. Okay, so back over to the sink. I'm just gonna show you real quick um, my everyday essential cleaning items. I do have an overage stock over in the laundry room, but this is just kind of stuff that I use on a daily basis. And then to the right of the sink, I keep a dry mat, um, dish towels, and then the remotes to the TV. Under that drawer is our trash bin and recycle bin. And up above those drawers is where we keep all of our plastic and Turbis tumblers, uh, Yetis, any drinkware goes in that cabinet. So here's just a little look at our layout. So right off the kitchen is a little uh, breakfast nook. We actually eat all of our meals here, so it's not really just for breakfast, but it's just our non-formal uh, dining room. And I love those windows there so you can look out on the um, backyard. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for flying by. And you can catch more details over on my blog at robinsouthernest.com.